Let Him Go is directed by Thomas Pazucha, at least that's, I think, how you say it, and stars Diane Lane and Kevin Costner, and is the newest focus feature movie that I had no idea existed until probably two days ago when I got invited to this screening. Uh, but when I read the synopsis, I was actually pretty excited. I do like my Western style thrillers and I do like the tone this movie was going for. I watched the trailer beforehand and I gotta say, I am really, really impressed. Let's talk about the negatives first because I don't really have a lot of bad things to say about it. I'd say the first 10 minutes needed a little bit more. It, and what I mean by that is it needed a little bit more set up to when the, the main drive of the story happens. I felt like it just needed a little more set up in there, you know, a little more character development because something pretty devastating happens at the beginning of the movie and it almost kind of drives the characters forward throughout this journey. And I feel like they could have developed it a tiny bit more in the beginning but other than that, this movie is really, really good and really intense. This movie has some of the most nail-biting and suspenseful scenes I have seen in a film all year. The way they build tension in this movie is incredible. A lot of this has to work because of the performances given by Diane Lane and Kevin Costner. They were fantastic in this movie. Oscar-worthy performances, if I'm being honest, they did a fantastic job. And their characters were really, really good. You don't really know a lot about them going in, but you start to learn more about how this certain event affects them and affects their family and affects their relationship. And you can really feel that that connection between the two, that, that it actually feels like they've been married for years. And it's incredible because the chemistry in this film is also some of the best I've seen all year. They play off each other super well. And when shit goes down, shit really goes down. Like I said, this film has some of the most nail-biting sequences I've seen all year. And a lot of that has to do with how much you hate the fucking villains of this movie. Because they are horrible, horrible people. And uh, that's all I'm going to say because I do not want to spoil it. It's a very, very simple plot line, but it works so, so well. And I also love the tone they established in this film. The tone is perfect. It felt like Logan a little bit. And, and it all works. It works for the better because it's just so, so just oh, emotional and, and, and just suspenseful the entire time. It doesn't really feel like this movie lets you breathe at times because once you hop into that second act, that's when everything goes down and it just feels like these characters are not really safe. Now it does have moments where the movie does start to, start to slow down, give you time to breathe. And through those moments, they are character built moments. You see that these two are forming, you know, a relationship and an and understanding for each other that they didn't even know they had even after years of being married, it's really, really cool how they took this movie and it's very subtle in its character building. And I'm, I'm kind of glad they kept it that way. But at the same time, those first 10 to 15 minutes could use a little bit more development. But other than that, guys, Let Him Go was a very, very good experience. And I'm gonna give Let Him Go an A minus. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, I got a lot of things to do. I got a lot to catch up on. I have not done my review for Ball Rat yet, and I feel very bad for that. So I'm sorry, guys, but I will hopefully get that out soon. So until then, I will see you in the next video.